All right, hello and welcome to the video. Uh, my name is Ponzu, and I'm going to be showing you some neat Car 98 game mechanics I found over my first 50 hours of Postscriptum. So a little bit about me real quick is that uh, I have a pretty big competitive background in shooters and I really like to improve the quality of gameplay and assist others. So without further ado, I'm going to be showing you three cool mechanics. So the first mechanic I want to show off is no scoping. So essentially, we all know that no scoping is quite unreliable in most games and most uh, modern shooters. But for Postscriptum, it's actually quite accurate, almost similar to Counter-Strike. Just to demonstrate, um, when I aim down sights like so and take a shot, I can clearly tell where my bolt's going to go. It's going to go right to my crosshair, right? But when I unscope, it's going to go. It's going to be going to that same spot. So if I shoot, I should be able to hit the exact same spot I was scoping at before. Now, if you make a mental note of where you're aiming right now and what's the center of your screen, you can actually bolt your rifle and shoot unscoped at that pinpoint accuracy you were looking at through your scope or iron sight. So, I can essentially shoot like this and make a mental note on my screen of where I'm looking at and shoot. And if you get good enough at this, you can actually just keep looking and keep centering your screen exactly where you want to shoot. And this can be really good when in close quarter situations where you have to peek a corner or even um, you run into someone in a hedgerow or in the forest and it takes a lot of time to like aim in. Not too much time, but it's enough time that can actually save your life. And if you make a mental note of this, it can really help you. The second mechanic I want to talk about is uh, zeroing. So to zero, if you're unfamiliar with it, you want to aim in, hold down the X key, and then use the scroll wheel to zero your iron sight to the range that you want. Now, I actually use 200 as my default, and that might sound weird, but when I shoot at someone at close range, it aims a little bit higher, and by doing at 200 instead of 100, you can effectively shoot targets from 1 meter away to 200 meters away very easily, just to demonstrate real quick. This is about 100 meters, and then I can basically do the same exact thing with, um, 200 meters away, and there's actually no difference between the two. But if I was at, let's say, 100 meters when scoping in, I'd have to aim a little bit higher to get that same shot. And that time to adjust can actually um, be quite hard on the mind as well as on the mouse. Because you, th you, have, you see someone so far away and you have to think to yourself, man, how far do I have to zero? How far do I have to aim up? But Generally, most combat that you see in the game is going to be between 100 and 200 meters away. So if you are already 0 to 200, you can effectively make shots by just instantly looking at them and then clicking. Like that, this is 100 meters, but a little bit lower than I thought. Uh, let's see a 200 meter target out there. Let's see if I can find one. Alright, 200 meter target, set the 0 to 200 meters, and... Done. He's right on the iron sight, really easy. And that's about headshot distance. Like, we're shooting right at the head, everything's connecting perfectly. Easy. Alright, so the third mechanic I'm going to teach you is called rapid firing. So, it kind of explains itself. Um, in this game, all bolt rifles, you have to manually bolt them by clicking twice. So, if I aim down sights, I shoot, I have to click again to bolt it. But if you can get a good rhythm down and figure out the exact timing of this, you can essentially shoot this fast with the Karnan AK. And this will be max time. There is no faster time you can shoot. It is That is the fastest time you can achieve with the Karnan AK. But if you notice when I shoot, my iron sight actually doesn't scope fully in, and it's actually off. The iron sight is off when I shoot, so when I shoot, it's going to be slightly off and slightly to the left. So you want to make a mental note of yourself when you do this rapid fire technique, when you click very, very quickly. You need to make a mental note that where I'm aiming here, you need to aim a little bit to the left. Because when you scope in, you see how it's a little bit to the left now? When the gun shoots, and when you bolt, you are, like your character is clicking and something is different with the model where the bullet is actually exiting the muzzle of the model. So when you shoot, your gun is kind of moving to the left for how you bolt it. I can't really describe this. It's more of a thing like I have to like slow this down, which I'll show you real quick on what I mean so I don't sound like a crazy person. But when you shoot, 
you want to aim a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, a little bit to the left, depending on where your target is. So in this case, I aim a little bit to the right because my bullet's going to go to the left. So if you can master this and make a mental note of not only all three mechanics of like where your no-scope is at, um, the zeroing and shooting to the left or to the right, or to the right of the target, you should be in very, very good shape. So hopefully these mechanics can help you out. Once again, I'm Ponsu. I appreciate you taking a look at the video, and have a nice day.